Good morning, good morning, good happy Sunday morning, good morning, good morning, good happy Sunday morning. Okay, I'm just coming here to y'all. Sunday morning, 11.46 Eastern Standard Time Zone in the ATL saying good morning. Thank you for coming back to my channel. That is Del Chanel's 48th World where we get in with the who, how, when, where, and why of celebrity entertainment. Or shoot, it could be local people out there that I might be talking about. Just trying to give a shout out, trying to get some information out there. Don't know if it's true, okay, but it could be. Just putting it in your ear and let you process it however you want to. Okay? But people, People Magazine, that is, came to my door. Yes, they did. Came across with some information. Say, so utilize it however you see fit. Okay? And I saw fit. I said, okay, let me talk about it. Because I definitely have been doing the castle and other commentary. And this fit right up in my blueprint. Okay? We're going to be talking about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Yes, the royalty, the parliament, the queen's side of town over there in Europe, Britain. You get where I'm going. London, England. Okay. All right. Across the waters and over by the waters. On the highways, on the byways. But we're getting down, like I said. But before we go any further, if you don't like the title, click. I'll turn the computer. I'll turn to another channel. Because I don't want to hear it. I make it where you all can leave y'all comments. And y'all do leave them. Oh my lord. When I'm talking about one of your faves. You go off on me like it is a sounding board. And I'm okay. I got this skin. I can take it. But guess what? I don't want to keep taking it for the same people. You know what I'm saying? Give me new people. Give me new people with comments. I don't want to go back and forth. I don't want to talk about the same issue. Or the same subject I put out with the same people. Okay, that's almost like you got to agree to disagree and move on. All right. So remember that when you're down in my comments, I don't want to he keep hearing from the same person all the time. Okay. And I'm not talking about the same person coming on every video. I'm just saying, if I do a video, you don't like it. You tell me why you don't like it. I respond back and then you keep responding, responding, responding. No, 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 no. That's not how the game works. I give you one time to comment. So that means get your thoughts together, get in those comments, write down your paragraph, sentence, um, book, whatever. I'm going to read it. I'm going to comment back. And then that's about pretty much it. Okay. That's how we do the comment section. That's how it's supposed to go, okay? So, edification told you how I like it. Please be respectful and do just that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, but don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. But again, we like to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like, like, like. Okay, let's get on into the story, all right? The People Magazine, like I said, are the informants. They tell me. I think about it, hmm, I think I want to share. So I come to you all with the story. Don't know if it's true, but like I said, got to be because these are very well lucrative formats that I'm getting the information from, okay? So they don't want to be uh, hit with any inf infringements or infractions legal leading to litigation. So hmm, I'm safe, okay? I believe so anyway because like I said, it's my opinion. I have one like everybody has a tongue in their mouth, okay? Okay. Anyway, like I said, it comes from people. All right. Get into it. All right. It's about the royals, the royal family, the real royal family, the real queens, the parliament, the courts, all of that. You know what I'm saying? This is not fake. This is for real over there in England. Okay. They're telling us how when you have babies in the royal family, how things are said and done, how things are, uh, your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. If you want to come play in the queendom, kingdom, over there in Britain, you play to win. They play chess all day long. They don't have the time to be playing dominoes, unos, spades, any of those, okay, craps, whatever. They be for real. Once you in, you in for life. Okay. But anyway, just a little cute um, article, headliner. They says, Prince Harry says he can't wait to introduce my wife 
and son to South Africa ahead of tour. Okay, but that's just pretty much was another story. But we getting in back. Okay, let me see where I'm going. Where I'm going with this? Okay, <sighs> we having a computer error meltdown. Um, pretty much here. Let me see, Prince. Here Megan. Okay. 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 We got it right here. We're going to scratch that. It wasn't People Magazine. That was another title I was going to um, talk about, but that's for later on. I just wanted to get into this one. Scratch People Magazine was my informant. It was Cheat Sheet. Showbiz home entertainment vlogging page. I'm sure y'all heard of it. They're fairly new or new to me. Haven't used them that much. That's why I said throw caution to the wind. It's just information I'm giving you. You decide whether it's true or false. And pretty much all my stories I put out in some degree, they are true. You see what I'm saying? There's some truth in the mix. You just have to cipher through all the bullshit and get to the root of the truth. All right. But anyway, this title was called The Weird Reason That Prince Harry and Meghan Markle Don't Have Full Custody of Baby Archer, meaning the son they had and Prince William and uh, Prince Harry when they were toddlers going up until they were grown. I guess they vested out of it, but uh, we call it aged out of the rules and regulations the queen and the king had set forth back in the 1700s, okay? And they never thought about changing it because they saw, hey, it takes care of everything. It takes all the, it takes, uh, it doesn't really take from it, but it adds to all the legalities that goes along as the child from birth grows up into their adulthood. Then they're like aged out of that particular formality that's written in contracts. Okay, when you become a queen, king, duchess, duke, uh, princess, princess, you know what I'm saying? That's just how they get down over there. Just a little edification. If you want to go a little deeper, do your own research. But again, I read you the title. The article journalist of this particular title is Christina Mumford. Okay, again, she writes a lot of articles for the Cheat Sheet, which is another magazine blog for entertainment, celebrity purposes, and royalty. Okay, it goes on to read, though. For many people, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are couple goals. Markle is beautiful. Handsome is ham. I mean, Harry is handsome. They both seem genuinely care about one another and are able to handle all of things that the public throws at them. Okay, with them being royalty and then still trying to live somewhat of a surface level normal life, it kind of gets daunting at times, but they are who they are. They float between, they navigate real well, okay, to save their holistic relationship and everything else is intact, okay? Um... It says their whirlwind romance was like a movie. They met in 2016 and by 2018 were married. Okay, earlier this year, they welcomed their first child, Archie Harrison, Mountbatten, Windsor, into the royal family. Okay, though Marco and Prince Harry will definitely be raising baby Archie along with some trusted helpers, they don't have full custody of the child. Let's go back rewind what you mean to tell me that Megan as well as Harry did they little thing in bed one night or maybe on the sofa maybe on the countertops maybe in the jungle who knows made this pretty baby and you're trying to say they don't have full custody well yes that's how the parliament that's how the queen that's how the royalties get down because they have to secure an heir for the throne okay they can't let you go all willy nilly get into your feelings want to take the last king or last queen from them and they ain't got nobody holding down their palace okay now you ain't you, 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 they ain't gonna go out like that I mean, it seems like Queen Elizabeth II is going to outlive them all, grandchildren as well, okay? Because she's been living a long, long time, okay? 
Some people have even said she must be an alien or something. Because ain't nobody, everybody is, you know, her age group, they, they go, what is she still doing here? What is she still doing here? Oh, Lord. Okay. But anyway, moving on from there, that was my sidebar. Can't do too many of those because I have to leave y'all before 20 minutes. Okay. But anyway, we go back. We says, uh, it says, who has custody of baby Archie? In most cases, parents are married. Yes, they share full custody of their children, but that is not how it is for baby Archie. No, no, no. Not for baby Archie. He's a royal, okay? Um, or his royal cousins, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, okay? Must be his, uh, his brother's children, okay? Oh, yeah. Anyway, moving on. According to a 1717 law, back in the 17th century, people, the reigning monarch's right of supervision extended to his grandchildren, and this right of right belongs to his majesty, queen of the realm, even during their father's lifetime. Okay, that's lineages going on lineages going on lineages. Okay, no. So even Prince Diana, when she was pretty much calling herself wanting to leave with her boyfriend, them kids had to stay there. Okay, they weren't going nowhere. You can go and traipse around the whole world if you wanted to, the whole continent. It didn't give a crap what the queen was saying. She said, but them kids, they're going to stay here. They're going to stay here where we can guard them, preserve them, because if anything happened to me, we had to go on all the way down, and we might have to choose one of your children at the tender age of 15, 16 to take over the throne. Okay, because you can't, you can't take over the throne. You were the baby-making machine. We like you. We love you. You will be compensated. Thank you, but the children, they belong to us. Okay, that's my spin, but the article uh, verifies everything that I'm spitting out to you all. It says, which means the queen technically has custody of baby Archie, according to the Latin times. The servant has legal custody of the minor grandchildren, said royal expert Marlene Cogan. This goes back to King George, the first who ruled in the early 1700s, and the laws never been changed. Okay, though the queen can pretty much control what happens to Archie, she doesn't typically use this power again let's go on the words that are being used she doesn't typically okay that means she can typically say uh 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 i have control you don't have control you gonna do what you want to do okay it just is what it is going back to the article it says i would doubt that the queen would interfere Cogan said it's more of a formality i think the queen has let her children raise their kids the queen will probably only utilize this authority in cases of extreme need or if one of the children were in danger of being harmed in some way okay yes 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 royal divorces are not unprecedented in fact sometimes they are encouraged all right they're just speaking on if what happens if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle get divorced, okay? Queen Elizabeth II actually recommended that Prince Harry's parents, Prince Charles and Prince Diana, get divorced after Diane gave an interview in 1995 saying that there were outside forces controlling her marriage, okay? Where there were three of us in the marriage, so it was a bit crowded, she said, meaning Diana, the late deceased Diana. Okay, after the interview, the queen wrote a letter to the estranged couple telling them to get a divorce and be done with it. Okay, give the choice. Given the choice, she would have stayed and tried to make a happy marriage. Princess Diana, personal trainer Jenny Rivet, once said she loved Charles. She was sad about it. She wanted to be a loving wife. Okay. When a royal couple gets divorced, the children still live the royal lifestyle. According to some reports, at the time of her death, Princess Diana had not seen her children in nearly a month. Okay, that goes back to that little formality written in the clause of becoming uh, royalty. Uh, coming up among the royals. That clause that, no, you can go everywhere you want to go. If you want to get divorced, you get divorced. But the kids, yes, the kids stay here in the castle. Okay. Anyway, so if Marco and Harry got divorced, the same would probably be true for the former starlet. She would most likely be allowed to go whenever, wherever she wanted. But baby Archie would have to stay with Prince Harry. Yes, have to stay, 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 stay. That means over there in Europe, over there in Britain, over there in their world. Okay? He cannot leave. He cannot go anywhere. He has to stay there. Just in case there is an uproar, an uprise or whatever, he has to stay there. All this little willy nilly talking about this, that, and the third. Mm -mm. I don't even know if you can dethrone yourself from the royal court if you wanted to. 
to just live a, a normal life away from all the privilege and, and, and uh, the perkness that you get from being related or attached to the royal family. I don't know if William or, or Harry would want to give up that privilege. Don't know. They never really tested the water. So <laughs> I don't think it's ingrained in them. They like that lifestyle. Okay. Men and women will come and go. But royalty is forever. And they know that. They like that life. Secretly, they do. Okay, that's my pun intended. Not an article going back. Marco was... Uh, will still remain royal, just like her mother-in-law did post-divorce, as she has already, always, or has already given birth to a royal heir. Okay? Yes. So, that's pretty much a little edification for you all when you get mixed up and sign yourselves up to be royalty, and you're uh, being up there with the purple and the gold. You have to be a part of you know, their rules, their regulations, and say, no compromise. No, mm -mm, not really, especially when kids are involved. And they do uh, expect you to give, uh, we call it, grandchildren. So they'll never run out of, you know, royalty in case something comes in because they got to keep their bloodline strong. They have to keep it in order, intact, as it was years to years and centuries and centuries ago. This is what it is, okay? So just a little edification, a little... Uh, knowledge out there for anybody who wants to go a little further and research the whole format of living the royal life do so update me if you wish uh but that's all i have for the story because you know i can't tarry too long can't tarry too long can't tarry too long but i'll see y'all for the next video hope y'all enjoyed this one and remember like 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 subscribe 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 mostly subscribe 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 like 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 and share my videos if you feel inclined to do so thank you so much for uh coming to my channel and i'll see y'all next video Bye bye